Okay, guys, so thank you for sticking around and being um, with us on this great week learning about Congolese, Brazilian, Colombian, uh, Indian music, all kinds of different styles guitar, bass, drums. I mean, this is, this is basically what we're, um, what our mission is, is, you know, some of these styles are, um, are not the most well known, but they're the styles that we love and we dedicate our lives to. So we're trying to popularize, popularize them. And by showing a few licks and showing the rhythms and how the ensemble interacts together, and hopefully that was going to continue to be insightful for you. So in our last session, we have the greatest guitarist from modern Congo, we could say. Uh, <laughs> probably, uh, I mean, until, you know, until I meet someone better, I could say Neil is the best guitarist I know. Uh, his knowledge oh, of... Uh, shit. Yeah, don't let, don't let me down now. I'm going to be good, oh, man. I... <laughs> Uh, you know his his technique is it's un, un uh, unquestionable. It's I guess a lot of it comes from the fact that he hasn't just played Congolese guitar all his life, but he's studied a lot of classical guitar and still does and classical techniques. You know the way his his right hand, um, especially with the with the picking techniques and the the finger style, is always very consistently clean at whatever kind of speed and i guess that just comes from a lot of dedication and time and studying and and listening to other great guitarists and figuring out you know not just what notes are they playing but how are they playing those notes and what are they doing with their fingers which is is the whole you know makes up exactly what um what we hear and and why it sounds good so thank you for being with us today Newell. over to you thanks very much uh i thought i could be good after that <laughs> epic introduction and um, actually that's that's i'll just start from there actually you know because uh, um the thing is like seb in Congolese electric guitar playing you know obviously you know this, this the plectrum is involved in compared to like you know you can lots of people play rhythm guitars with you know like the fingers like we did um was it two days ago and um but then when it comes to electric you know there's no many who just play with their fingers like lead guitar like franco did play with his fingers he's pretty much the only one you know um every all the electric player all use plectrum and what I was just going to say is Congolese music is actually good for anybody, not just for just learning to play with the plectrum, you know, like for alternate picking, because everything is, 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 is very much picked. You don't do like slurs. I mean, sometimes, but you don't do like a lot of, uh, you know, not a lot of uh, kind of pull offs or, you know, legato sort of playing. So it's actually it's beneficial like let's say if you're a, a jazz musician or you know whatever type of music that requires you to develop that you know alternate picking by learning in you know, a lot of these lines you're actually developing you know your, your alternate picking as well but also there's a lot of uh, because we use not just the alternate picking but we also have this technique of playing the, the plectrum with these fingers here, you know? So, uh, like, uh, you know, we play like... So I'm using, you know, the, 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 the pick there and these fingers here. I think, like, when I... When I came into here in Ireland, I was doing this kind of playing, you know, and what I, I was playing, switching between all these fingers. And a friend of mine studied in, in Berkeley, you know, so he was like, oh, wow, this is the technique I've been, you know, in, 
that in right now in birth is the must you have to be able to do that to play the plectrum with your fingers so he was showing all these exercises that he was, do, he was doing and I was like well you know this is what every guitarist does in Congo it's like it's the basic thing that you that we always do there's no even name for it you know you you don't get taught to do it you just learn from watching elders playing it so you know we have all these different ways of playing that can help anybody from any style really you know instead of sitting at home and you know usually if you go online trying to develop your alternate picking for instance they give you all these kind of exercises you know, which, which are kind of mechanical you know the, instead of just doing that you know you go learn like a line like a Like that so you can see there I'm using both techniques I'm using the, the alternate picking and this these fingers here so when I go can you I hope you can see there so That's now the, the what they call string, uh, string skipping. You know, I see a lot of people. There's a lot of lessons on how to play. You know, all these kind of very mechanical, mechanical kind of exercises. But it's if you learn like you know those kind of lines, there's a lot of string skipping. this basically in one one line you get to use your to improve your alternate picking you get to improve your uh, what they how do they call this and um, hybrid they actually call it hybrid picking and uh, you also get to improve your you know your string picking so when you're like playing any other song so you have it's easy to then just you know in any other style because it's a technique that's being used in, in order in a lot of different styles you know um, so that's something I, I wanted to just say to people because if you do learn like this music you're not just learning the style of music but you're actually also improving your style whatever style you know your, your technique so that you can play in any other type of music because Congolese music basically is um, originally you know the very f like I'd say we all are, are the product of Dr. Nico. Dr. Nico was um, you know the kind of first electric guitar with like pl plectrum you know and then um, really nice sound. I'm pitching here. <laughs> You're okay? Close the door, please. So, Dr. Nico was uh, uh, a very, you know, he, he, he picked everything. He had a plectrum, you know, un unlike kind of Franco. You know, they're all kind of the same, same time. But he was sophisticated, you know, very, very sophisticated. And he played very, you know, you know he had a lot of influence of jazz and, you know, stuff like that. So, like, he would play stuff like... Um, In the 50s this was kind of the sound of Congolese music because it was rumba you know there they, they wasn't really there was a lot of shakers you know that fast seven didn't really ap appear yet but he was the sort of first guitarist and he would improvise in a very jazzy way where he would, he, he would go And 
actually one of his most famous line is this is this uh, tremolo he, he did you know like this this thing here yeah, that you heard is like everybody would know this if you play this to any congolese person they'd be like oh that's dr nico and um, you know all this kind of way of playing chromatic sort of people mixed every guitarist who came after him they mixed they mix um oh i can hear myself back they pretty much mixed dr nico and franco lambo macchiati is you know and uh, these people players like pepe feli manuaco who came after after those those guys and um so yeah before i go too long i don't know if if, if everything i'm saying is making any sense <laughs> Do you have any, you know, I realize sometimes, you know, these things for me, music for me is like out of body experience, you know, I, I, I zone out very quickly, I just get playing and non-stop. <laughs> so maybe if I go slowly, you know, so to give people a chance to just, uh, you know, maybe ask questions from what I've said so far. Maybe there isn't a question, you guys, you guys are great, it's just understanding everything, absolutely killing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so you know, whatever. If you want to basically improve your ultimate picking, you know, instead of sitting at home, this, 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 those kind of exercises, kind of, which is in a lot of the time, it's kind of boring to just do that. You know, you know, you you learn yourself a line. So you, what, what did I say? You shoot one two birds with one stone. You know, sort of speak. So you, you know. Um, like I'll take an example of um of a line like um you know um what can I like So basically I'm using this, I'm starting with this style, which they call hybrid, but then I'm st string skipping there, I have to go from the fourth string to, to the high E, then, then I have to alternate pick those, you know. So if you if you learn to play those lines, you know, no matter what, what level you're at, whether you're a beginner, like if you're a beginner, you know, use this is actually would go. Uh, this is an, an advice for anybody, whether you're a professional or you're you're just starting to play today. Usually, if you're trying something and you can't play, that means you're doing it too fast. 
Simple as that. No matter what level you're at, you know, you're, you're playing so I can't really get it. Just slow it down. Slow it down to your level, even if it's slow motion. You know, so if you're a beginner, don't don't feel like God, this is too fast. Just you, you yeah, that's what um world music that's there's all these features where you can slow down lines and stuff like that so uh, basically what i'm trying to encourage you to do instead of spending just time doing all this you know mechanical stuff you know you know you learn you know in a different type of music which you you know you have in your pocket but you also develop you know the technique of improving your guitar you know for any other style i think uh that's a that's a smart thing to do. Cool. Couple questions there. First yeah. one from Jack is asking, maybe you can read this in the chat. Are you thinking in terms of chords or melodies? I in my thinking or oh, well no really. I think it's you know, you don't like chords and stuff, no, it's more the melody, you know. That's what people that's what you hear. Bambo, ba, 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 ba. It's, it's that that high, you know. It's, it's the melody. It's not really the chord. But obviously, you you, you want to know what the chord is, you know. When if you're playing, you already know that. Okay, like that. You know. It's just one four five. You you already know that. But when you're playing there, you're not following the chord like. I mean, people do this, but really they, you know, that's that's that. Sometimes when you go down, you know, like they call in in we used to call it the detente, like you do some. But you really follow the chords, but you don't have to follow the chords. In like that's not really following the chord. Like you might not even know that it's one four five if I don't say that because it's not really going. It's not really following. It's very syncopated, you know. In fact, it could even be. You can use a lot of different chord progression there, so it's not strictly following the chord progression. It's more the melody that counts, you know. But you you you, you want to know the chord. You want to know what chord progression you are you you know you're playing on. And also the uh, the, the the accent, you know, like there. This this sort of a one two. It's kind of late. Those things really count a lot because that's that's what makes the groove, you know. I mean, the, the, the way I, 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 you know, sometimes I usually say to people, people it's, it's not very much appreciated what those, well, I don't want to be biased, obviously I'm from, from Congo, you know, what, what the, the complexity of Congolese guitar, it's not really appreciated, but it's, it's, it's the, also just because the, the nature of the music. Because music is so, you know, joyous and danceful, people just dance and that is great. But what's going on with the wrist, you know, it's there's a lot of twists and turns that's happening because it's never straight. You know, like if I was doing like this, it's the same motion that's going straight. It's like going just straight forward like that. But with, with those lines, they're like, it's, it's like, you know, like a rabbit kind of running over hair, you know, they, they never go straight. It's like, like this. So that's this lot of uh, sort of fiddling around with your wrist that's happening at the same time because you're constantly changing sort of patterns. Like, you know, like you, as I say, you start, you know, even just that, it's, it's so quick and people are that you don't, it requires a lot of skills, you know. Then, then, 
So you're learning like four or five techniques I want to just play one line. You know what I mean? And then this. So there's all this lot of string skipping and then not to mind the tempo of the music. So you, you need to be on time, you know, doing all these twists and turns on, on your on your on your on your hand. So it's it's really you know, not just for the style of music, but for any style of music, I think it'll be a good thing to have. Because, um, you know, it's like, if you think of music as a language, you know, in language, when you talk, you don't just talk, it's like straight. There's a lot of different tones in your voice. You stop here, you know, you change, you know, just like the way I'm doing it now. I'm, just, I'm not just going, hey, how are you going? That's, Stuff like this, that's what it means to me. Like for me, this is, doesn't really make any sense because it's just like, going, you know, but um, stuff like, um, um, like what, what's a good line that I, I could do here? Like, um, you know. Uh. So you can see there's lots of different changes you have to make on your on your hand. And I think that's really, you know, it's a good skill to have for any style of music. So if you want to develop your agility, you know, on your hand, this is the music for you as well. Somebody said there, okay, I have a question about hybrid picking. Yeah. I think that there's a question first from Papa Kobe asking about the where you're using your pick and the fingers as well at the same time yeah but that's that's what they call the hybrid picking okay. yeah, so so um yeah that's you know as i say there's no even name for it everybody plays like that it, it, it was really interesting to me to find out that that was like a big thing in berkeley school of music i was like oh that's um basically you just you know um what well, you know, you, as you can see, my hand is kind of, you know, up there, so I, I can easily get the, you know, sometimes you can use all of whatever fingers you want, you know, uh, the index, oh sorry, the middle finger or the, the ring finger, you know. So people will do like, you do like. I mean, so I went from just straight um, alternate picking, then then I switch onto the onto the hybrid there. Then I could switch into like string skipping. So there's like. See what I mean? And then um, so it's um. So as I said, the best way to practice it is just to do things slow. You know, it might look like, wow, that guy, how are you doing it? But do things on your tempo. You know, that's usually the case. People, we, even myself, I have to remind myself all the time. Sometimes I'm trying something and I'm, uh, it's hard. It will come. Just, just slow it down. And no matter how slow, just even if you have to go note for note like that, start like that. You know, and then, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. If you have to go like slow motion, even better, you know? Because then when you, when it's fast, it's easy.
yeah, so just practice it slow. You know, you have your practice room with the two fingers and go slow. Whatever level you're at, it doesn't matter. Even if you start with just, just one note, you take a break, the second one, you know. And then you start mixing it, you know. You can go maybe, you know, one, two, then you can mix it with uh, alternate picking. So. that that helps nice does that answer your questions about the uh yeah cool there was um there was a comment on uh um... oh, sorry sorry yeah, Tim, jump in there sorry uh, uh just, just to add something uh, something i find uh, my, my, my 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 little fingers aren't as good as they used to be but um when, when sometimes when i do hybrid thinking i think it's something i got from rock music a bit you play, you play, you, I know you're using it a lot on six intervals, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I, I just, uh, I just play, play it with the play, both strings and damp the one in between. Is that just something for the, for the idol or do I? Is... Say that again. So you play. I, I can try, I, I play it with the pick, the interval, both the strings with the pick. But, okay. but 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 damp the string in between with the, with the one the, the, with the fretting finger on the third string. Something like that. I don't. Do you want to play there so I can hear? I, can, I can, you can, you won't be able to see. But so instead of, can you hear that? Yeah. Instead of that, I'll play that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was. You see, that's so you're alternating that. You, that's what I, I was saying about the. That's what they call string skipping now. Because as soon as you do that, because you're going from the third string to the, you know, to the first string. That so you're skipping the B. Uh, you called it, yeah. That's what. That's 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 the, that's you what. Can, I, you can do that when they, when the notes aren't the same, but when they are the same, I I tend to just just just. just pick it like that and just damp down damping the the one in the string in between with my with my um second finger okay oh yeah i see what you mean yeah that's you know that's i suppose everybody has their individuality and that's cool you know you everybody should yeah um, yeah that's yeah. something i find a bit help, helpful anyway yeah. congratulations on starting with my my favorite one game music with by the way <laughs> oh thanks yeah so you know yeah that's uh that's actually a line Alain Makaba played it, but it, it's known that it wasn't his line. It was uh, another guy, what was it called? Zing Zong. Oh, so, yes, I remember Zing Zong. Thank, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, Zing Zong, that's Zing Zong line. So, um, what, uh, what band was Zing Zong in? Well, he is one of the, the founder of Wenge, but then he left. Okay. Just before they made the album, so Alain Makaba played all, his, all the lines. Yeah. So, um, yeah. It's, well, you know, it's really... Question, um, go there's a question um, on the about using fourths interval. Yeah. Um, do you use those much? Yeah, yeah, it's used. Uh, it's probably not not as much as a, uh, you know, like thirds and and sixths and all that. But yes, you know. That's that's fourth. If you were playing. Let's let's say the first chord was C major. Would you ever play over the C chord, a C and F together as an interval? Yeah, like there. I'm starting. Uh, so if the first chord is C there, I'm basically starting with C and F, but I'm going through. It's mostly fourth there. It's, it happens. If people use it, but no,
that kind of in in the you know that's all fourth there It's, I mean, it's not. It's probably not very much used a lot. But if I like the, the fourth is started, the the kind of modern seven, it's it's mostly used there. I'm trying to see if you know that like that's an old line though. But um, I don't know if it's that much used. You know, it, like in the like let's say 60s and 70s. It wasn't used much, but certainly in the 90s, that's, you know. And I covered all this in, in the lesson, you know, in the lesson, there's, in, I mean, I don't know if I actually talked about the fourth, but there's a lot of lines with the, with the fourth in the lesson and um, yeah it's more i'd say in the in the 90s it started being used a lot. I, even now you know a lot of this the, you know there but this fourth Find it a lot in the in the modern, you know, in the modern seven, and which we we covered in the lesson as well. Could you talk to us about how you create a very unique guitar line over the same chord progression that's been used a thousand times and make something different? Yeah, I think that the most unique guitar lines always don't follow chords precisely. So you'll find, you know. Um, you'll find like uh, lines that are very chordal, you know, like that is really playing one, four, five, four, it's really playing, you know, um, but like like that line if I don't say to you that it's one four five, you wouldn't, you know, it would be hard to tell, you know. It's, this is like, this is a Zyko line by uh, a guy called what's his name? Ah, oh, come on, come on, Yoto, and unfortunately he just passed away. I think just in the last probably six months um, you know like amazing player this is probably he, he played on in on one album and this is this is the classic line because they have to stop the song is going and then they have to stop and then the seven comes that's what you say you attack so he would bah! that's 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 an absolute attacking line that would get people straight away off there, you know, uh, to the dance floor. And then, then he goes. Yeah. You see what I mean? He's not really following the chord precisely. You know, he's not going ba -dum, ba -dum, da -ba -dum, ba -dum, de -ba -dum, the greatest lines never really file, file, um, follow the chord they, they go around it so like uh, the most 
popular seven of of them all of all time is actually from a from a guy from a cover deep as well on the video um Benico Popolipo um that one Like that line is always tricky, so around, you know. But again, they will be singing. Oh, move da 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 da. Then everybody would stop. Then the line would attack. So da da. That line is the most famous line of a demo. Everybody would they knows this guitar line, and uh, it's. Um, but see how you know it's it's not very comfortable to play at, at all. Again, you can see all the sort of maneuver. You know, you have to do it on your right hand and your left hand you know it's like you start with the octave and with the hybrid then you go to skipping back to the hybrid and then you go to this really kind of just it's just strange line i don't know it's just it this chromatic so So you have to imagine there's like 10,000 people, the music is loud and the whole band has to stop for you to come and play that line. I remember playing this line once, we were just doing a cover band in, you know, way back and I was so freaked out because you can't, you know, so many times people play this line, then you hear the miss note, it, it's always because it, it <laughs> and everybody would notice that, you know, so you have to, if, and again, the timing of it basically starts out of nowhere in the grid because it's one two and the three one two three four one two so you start on the third beat but then the, the song when they're singing oh move away now way so the, this the vocals and everybody stops at four and a half beat so you have this one, two beat, that's nothing. You know, it's it's very scary moment for any guitarist who plays this line because you have to come on time. Oh, move on, oh, oh, yeah. So you can see all the maneuver you have to do to get, and people, you know, it's, you play this in Congolese part in anywhere, in half Africa, oh, because all these songs, this is what made Congolese music what it is today, the most popular music in the continent of Africa. And uh, yeah, so a lot of people would know these lines. So it has to be, you know, well and precise. So to go back to your question, you can see even that, it's not really following, even it's going, it's kind of not really playing, it's, it's not really it's always around the chord so it's um, you know it's always going around the chord not really playing um, just you know with the chord i hope that makes any sense cool yeah nice so um, eric is asking do you work on composing such such phrases or are they mainly improvised? Good question, man. These lines, like, you know, I mean, people sell their souls to find these lines. It's, <laughs> I mean it, it's serious. People, you know, people go to, you know, all sort There's of people voodoo. People who write lines for the Sorry? band. Sorry? There's people who write lines for the there band. Are people, yeah, it's like rhymes, you know? It's like you want to go in rap, but they have the rhyme. It's the same. It's you. You. You could. Like I. I I've assisted in um, Zyko, um rehearsal a few times. This is one of the thing I, I used to skip school. Don't tell my parents. <laughs> I, I was such a lost kid. 
Um, anyway, so I would skip school and I go to see Zaire Cole rehearse, and man, it was so meticulous. Like, you you you'll feel sorry for the guitarist. Like they they they'll be sitting there go okay can you play that line no no that's that's not gonna work no that's not gonna work no that's not gonna work you know ten ten lines no 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 you you know it's it's hard to get those lines so a lot, lot of the guitarists sometimes they would have a guy that they work with at home you know who's not very well known he might have the line come and give it to them and um, and I mean it some guys it's known they would go to voodoo stuff. I don't know if how you know this works, but this is all these kind of stories where you hear oh, this guy, this line, he went somewhere and, and he did some sacrifice. I you know I don't know how true this stuff is, but it's I just I just want to say it's not um it's not as you see it. You know when you see it, just people playing it happy. It's it's a lot of it's you know it's not that that easy. You know to get the right line that's gonna get people dancing. I mean for me, I remember. When I came here first, playing that music, people would just start dancing. I mean, if you start playing here in, you know, in Dublin or in Cork, you just start like... People get up and start dancing. It was weird. I, I was asked to... Because in Congo, it's not like that. You, you, you might play... Like, until you would hit that right line, people were going to wait for you to hit that note. Then they'll get up and dance. It's sort of like... Kind of like, you know... Show us what you got, sort of mentality, you know, because they, they really wait for that moment. Oh, now that's the line that's going to grab people. Um, it's really like that. It's not that, that easy at all. Not that easy. So you, some, so you work on them. You don't, you know, I mean, if you're good at it, you know, I'm sure there are people who improvise those lines, you know, um, but if you play in those bands, you know, it's not that easy. You, you, you'd want to have your line you when you come with it it's like bam you know you can't just go there improvise and go, get it wrong they'll just hit you with a stick you know just get, get your How about um yeah rather than talking to us about some of the greatest composed lines why don't you compose a nice line for us right now I'll give you some yeah. words. uh <laughs> let's go for the classic one four five four yeah well you see just to I'm actually, you know, I don't want to be kind of what's going through your head, you know, as you, you know, talk us through it while you come up with this and, and, and how you make it unique and different to any other line that's been there before. Yeah. So let's say, I mean, uh, you know, in, in C, let's say in C. Great B. Great B. Love that one. What, 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 what? Okay. We go to A. <laughs> so, so we just have that. Let's say that's, you know. This is like the rhythm guitar. Let's see if that was a rhythm guitar, you know. So one, four, five, five, four, you know, five. If the rhythm, also you have to realize I react a lot, you know, f f music for me is like a reaction to what's going on. It's just like life, you know, also at the same time, you're walking, you didn't plan there was going to be a hole, then all of a sudden there's a, you know, whatever, a dog appears, something, you just react to that, you know, to that moment. So it's the same here. So let's say if the rhythm guitar was doing that. Straight away, I can hear that, you know, which is, uh, you know, the, the D. You know, this is just now what I'm hearing now. I'm listening. So this is those, those accents. One, two, three. Ba, 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 ba. See? So that's what I'm hearing right now. Like that. Uh, 
あ,あそれで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、
the the drummer the drummer told me like they really loved what i played but in, except they could never replicate they could never replicate what i did so they never play a lot of these songs but i did what I, whatever i wanted to do <laughs> so that's probably what, what i might do to you that i might be okay i might say okay i might go back you know and see my you know maybe sacrifice you know i don't know a, a lion and get lion teeth maybe i might get some power there who knows <laughs> Uh, this, there's another question there. Okay, yes. Yeah, so Tim's asking about Mi Solo and Papa Kobe about uh, Mindule. Oh, say that again. Um, asking about Mindule. If you could play the play the guitar part for Mindule. Mindule. That's oh, all right. Um, that's an acoustic. Yeah, Tim. Tim's asking about. Me solo as well. You could explain a bit about me solo guitar parts. Well, that's good. Me solo. It's um, it's kind of like it played. It plays the role between the, the lead guitar and the rhythm guitar. So let's say if the lead guitar was actually, let me just try something. Could you could you hear this? Oh, um, if I play yes, I can this, hear it. Could you could you hear this? Because I might just it might be good to 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 do that. You know, if I can you could you hear this? I'll just try something there. Can you hear that? Yes, yes. Can you hear that? Yes. Oh, so you, oh, you can hear that, yeah. Yes, there's, there's a bit of delay on my vocals this evening. Uh, sorry, Tim. I think um, Nibble, you're trying to play a backing track. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. Did you could you hear that? No. no. Oh no, I can't hear that. No. <laughs> All right, you can't hear that. Uh, oh God. Okay, then I, I don't know how to wait, get a work. Anyway, so let's go back to this. So that's, that's like the rhythm guitar, you know. And they, uh, it's a, such a shame I can't you can't play because you know it'd be good if I could record something and make you. Uh, I just don't know how to work out this thing. I'm always not that good. But the rhythm guitar will be doing something like something like the over there. I can't even sing at the time. So the rhythm guitar is kind of, you know, it's more kind of. Then the rhythm guitar, and then the lead guitar will be doing like. It's really, you know, for me, as you know, I always say to a lot of people, Congolese guitar arrangement, especially of uh, OK Jazz, is is the best guitar arrangement that I've heard in, in the whole of the world. Again, it's not really appreciated. You don't really notice it because you're dancing it's just going on you don't notice who's doing what when it's really blending it just sounds like one um, and the, the most subtle parts you don't actually hear when you're, when you're just dancing at all no, you just feel them yeah not at all so it's it just sounds like one and it's just if somebody was playing the and the other guy is very Hold this gap, and then the lead guitar is doing something there, and, and then the bass, dun, 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 dun. like the blend is 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 you know, frankly you know I, you know, I haven't really you, you don't really hear arrangements like that on guitar that much you know, um, but it's so blending you don't notice that, and but OK Jazz especially they're just the king king of of, of those yeah. sort of things. I could I add something to your. Can you hear me? Okay, it's coming. Yes, yes, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for doing these uh, workshop. I tried to catch up in I think October, November, and I missed it. And I'm really glad my friend sent me the link today. Okay, um, I think he's online too. I was running uh, the first time I heard Congolese guitar. I was playing guitar, but I was a radio DJ also. And 
there was nobody in town. I'm in Toronto, Canada. Okay. All the guys okay. from Congo, they go to Montreal because they speak French. So right. there are only a few here. Yeah. So the first Congolese band, I was one of the guitar players. I'm leading the band, finding people to play. And then as more guys came from Congo, we played. Uh, I learned from them. Cool. And I didn't know, have an example of how these guitars are playing. So I didn't realize it's three guys. I thought maybe it's two. So I ended up having a guitar style where I'm trying to play the lines of two guys because yeah, I didn't yeah. know this. Three. So it, it forced me to get very interesting guitar style. I'm from yes, Ghana. I've been there as well. Cool. I've been there as well. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So it was just like a, it, it was amazing. But then as the guys from Congo came, they're very comp like they used to come and stand in front of me at rehearsal and they'd be like this. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's a like, lot. <laughs> Right, right in my feet. Like they want to see how I'm playing the thing because I'm playing the two parts, but I don't know it's anything. But then, as the guys came, uh, Lopez and Christian, all these guys came to play. Um, they started showing me how the guitar goes, but then they didn't really want to show me because they want to be like the top guy. <laughs> so they, wow. they didn't want me to learn how they're doing those parts. But is when I think. Uh, uh, not Papa Wemba, uh, Kanda Bongo Man came, and then we saw on stage the guitar part, how the guitars go, and uh, Pepe Kale. Yeah. Oh, so those God. when those guys came to Toronto, we got to see, oh, this is how they, oh, this guy's only playing, dee -dee 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 -dee. but the other guy's going, dee -dee 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 -dee, the interlocking. Yes. Is when we saw it on stage, we could say, oh, this guy's just playing, da -da -da -da. this guy's going, dee -dee 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 -dee. we got to hear the, the interplay, and it was, a, it yeah. was amazing. Yeah, but again, they like the, the guys. They're just like you. You play rhythm, Kobe. You play. I am yeah, the that's, solo. That's very. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's the same in Ghana, but it's 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 you know the guy that started talking about Doctor Nico. He's known that he died with his sound because he was like his sound was like even today. If you listen to his sound, it sounds so beautiful. It's it's like just you know Doctor Nico. You know um, and and. Um, Apparently, he used to, you know, give people his back because they wouldn't, they, so they wouldn't see how, how you know, what he was playing, how he's setting his sound, and uh, it's it's very common, you know. But I want to talk about some, you know, Ampia Bakuba. He said Pepe Kale. So if you if you saw Pepe Kale, that means you saw the one of the guitarists called uh, Boeing Seven Three Seven. That's his name. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Because he was, uh, they, they, I think the reason they called him that because he was fast. He was, he's really the fast guy, you know, playing. And uh, he's an amazing player. He's really, um, you know, um, some of his line. Um, this kind of stuff. Bakuba, they had this fast tempo, so their seven was really fast. Like he's really, really amazing player, you know. And yeah, I just wanted to mention him because I, I, I rarely ever mention this guy, but he's, I learned a lot because my 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 mentor when he was teaching me. He'd always give me, like, for instance, when I was learning, he was teaching me the modes. So he showed me a lot of that guy because, you know, he, he used like pentatonic. Oh. kind of runs on his stuff you know uh he, he used to do all this kind of you know 
really fast line, so uh, that's why they call him Boeing 737. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that, that's good to mention him. Yeah, so we, you were saying about... Uh, yeah, but, um, about Mindele, about the guitar part, I think what Kobe probably means is about halfway through the song, you go to this weird flamenco jazzy style chord oh, God, progression. Uh... Yeah, not that bit, but, but it goes to in the middle. That one. Man, it's hard to play an electric. I, I've never played an electric. Much, uh, whatever that was <laughs> whatever it was like you know yeah it's just uh yeah i'd love to to figure it out but i don't know the chord though i mean this i don't we, i really don't think in terms of chords you know um in my beginning i used to hate chords literally when i started the first year or two my guitar playing i always played up here so I remember my friend telling to me, you need to learn chords. So he played to me this D major. I was like, that sounds terrible. Why would you play something like that? You know, I was like, why do you do that? And uh, I only started playing chords when I met my mentor. You know, he told me, you need to play chords because they're good for you. That's when I started playing chords. You know, just kind of jazz chords. But then um, in my music, I always think melodically you know so um you know i always you know i would play chord sometimes but i, but I wouldn't play like the sort of traditional way of playing where there's like a chord accompanying melodies. I don't really hear music that way. I always hear stuff going on, you know? So I wouldn't really play like... like that where it's like it's clear a chord then a melody on top for me it's like it's just going on it's more kind of a 3d you know okay interesting cool um ryan's asking about how do you get a clean tone and you know there isn't much string noise fret noise anything like that when you're playing and you do play quite fast sometimes so what's okay. the secret yeah um well the secret there i suppose you know first of all i should really have a delay you know I, i'm probably the only congolese guitarist in the world who play this music without a delay guaranteed if you see a congolese player playing this music without a delay is either they don't have it but 99 percent of the time it's this delay going on but my favorite guys, like Ale Makaba, even Franco, he, you know, they don't, they didn't, either they used it very subtly. Um, so this became sort of, um, I just never really got into it, you know. 
into delay. I would use it sometimes, but um, I like clean. But the secret is just in the style, you know, in the so in the in the touch. You don't wanna, you don't don't wanna pluck too too hard. You don't you don't want to play too you know kind of hard the touch the, the secret is in this movement you know you have to realize is the, the the wrist can you see there yeah can you see me the, the wrist there and the and the elbow you know the they call it the, the supination motion you know it's a natural movement of the body um, so if you play like this, you should be okay. You don't want to use, if you're doing like this, that means you're using your uh, your shoulder, you know, because the shoulder is getting involved. The shoulder is not involved when it comes to playing guitar. I mean, it's just a post posterior sort of muscle there. But if you really play the guitar, you're using your fingers, the, the muscles that you move your, your, your fingers, are all here just there they're not up here so you want to have this relax and if, if you can see it's really just that movement you know you do this comes back that's really it just that so there's no you know if i have to go you start getting like that so you want to you know what I mean? It's all just there. That's really this, but you know, this that's just all the all again, even in in uh, circus music, all the great people that are truly great, they always have that. You know, they they play like that. They, if you write people like Roxy, you know, Popolipo, all this great that we covered on the lesson. They all have this thing. They don't play like that, you know? And that's really usually because if you're doing like this, you're actually lifting your shoulder. And, you know, your shoulder is supposed to go up, you know, not down. So if you have your plectrum, just this is the thing. Supination motion, they call it. I hope that helps. You should really try it. Really try, try to, you know, just do that and then. Um, just get used to just using this motion as you can see my shoulders completely relaxed there so this uh, you know As you mentioned, um, Roxy Shimpaka, maybe we'll just take this opportunity to quickly show some of you guys who haven't enrolled yet exactly what's what's in the course, and uh, especially you know Roxy being one of Newell's favourite guitarists, he gets quite a lot of coverage here. So we can. I'll slow down some of these lines I just played, you know, so that you can you you can also learn them. You know, uh, they're very good for me. If you ask me, I prefer the old ones because you know it, it was more there was more character, and every player, every, in the old time, every player had something totally different. You know, like a, like a. You know. You know, stuff like that. You don't hear stuff like that anymore. You know, there's so many. You know. Uh, all this kind of thing that will yeah so although it obviously does look quite complicated some of it we can um you know there's a little loop feature here we can um you know you can select certain bars or certain beats and play them over you know until you get it or slow it down and stuff like that um and yeah, all the courses they're discounted at the moment. There's about 
in varied um, figures, but about 70% or 75% off most of them. And um, actually, there's quite a few cool backing tracks with this course. Let me show you again. Um, yeah, there's actually a lot of tracks here where it's it's me, Newell, and Felix, one of the drummers who was teaching here earlier this week. And um, you've got the whole chord chart as well as you can listen to it with Newell's rhythm guitar. So you can play the lead or you can play the rhythm. He plays the lead or you can you can silence him completely when you're ready to take on the whole thing. But uh, yeah, it's just an example of a few of the few of the resources that that come in the courses. Yeah, so I um, hope you've all enjoyed that. We've probably got time for a couple last questions if um, well, it's Friday night in different parts of the world. <laughs> thing. I did type one in earlier. Can I join in with that? Uh, yeah, you would say, yeah, go on, go for it, please. It's some, something that I've worked with a few Congolese guitarists in my time, and so often they end up saying to me, you play for nothing. Can can you comment on that? I, I think I understand it a bit better now. But, um, Sorry, say that again? Some con Congolese guitarists, a few of them said to me, you play for nothing. You play for nothing? I don't understand. Yeah. What do they mean? Well... Uh, Okay, uh, do you want me to explain my understanding of it, or maybe it won't be helpful for? Basically, I'm playing too many interval, too many notes. So playing three notes instead of two, or four they're notes instead of three. They're, they're saying to you. Sorry. Those people they're saying to you that you're playing for nothing. Yes. Because of it's, what you're playing, is it? It's also to do with the fingering, because I, I tend to approach things by ear a lot. Yeah. And it's uh, to do with the fingering as well, because there are different ways. Well, I mean, you know, everybody has their thing, you know, it's just like any other type of music. I think Tim just went there. It's just like any other type of music. You have, everybody has their individuality, you know. You have, all you have to remember is people have to dance. That's that. Whatever you're doing, people have to dance. You know, you could, I mean, there's all sort of seven, you know. You can finger Hello? He's back. Hello. Sorry, we had a bit of a glitch there, but... Yeah, I was just saying, you know, I mean, whatever you do, team, you know, if you're playing with people from Congo, you have to realise people have to dance. You know, that's that's the bottom line, you know, that's what makes you great in this music. It's really not, you know, about what you're playing. But if people are dancing, then you're great. If people are not dancing, you're not great. So, if you know, it doesn't matter <laughs> what you're playing. You can play all sorts yeah. of seven. I was just going to play that... Like this, that guy Zilva, he played in Viva, he did that. Nobody else uh, has ever done that. Where he does this, uh, you know, he bends with that, you know. Yeah, yeah Fist on the Sambo does a bit of that, I've seen him do that. Yeah. He probably got it from, from that guy, but nobody else ever. You're bending both strings with different intervals, aren't you? It's like yeah. microphones, microphones. Is that it? stuff like that and if people you know people dance to it so it was great if people don't dance to it then it's not great so they it, it, whatever your individuality is you know you shouldn't let anybody tell you oh that's not right you know it's always unless you're in, in, in like a band leader doesn't like it then you know you wanna if you you don't want to lose your job then you know you well, you get back to the whole thing you were talking which is very interesting you were talking about earlier yeah, and I, yeah. I actually a good friend of mine went out and worked with Remy Ongalo, he's not quite Congolese, and played with Super Matamida for a while, and he told me about the 